like what I see. What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to play around with some electric lawn equipment in this front part of my lawn. So let's get right into it. How's it look? I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to be playing around the front yard with this electric equipment from Hard Tools. If you remember, I did an unboxing video with this stuff and I wanted to play around with it in the front yard today. This isn't a review video by any means. This is just me just playing around in the front yard with this and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I know today I said I wasn't gonna do any re review on it, but I did wanna mention it is cutting really well. The last time I cut it was probably three days ago with the Honda and the Honda's cut or set at three inches. And it technically cuts just a little bit over three inches at that setting. And there's no setting on this mower that matches that. So it's at, this mower is actually cutting slightly lower than three inches, but the lawn is, it's still giving a really good clean cut. I'll give you an idea of how tall the grass is right now. So here's the cut part and the uncut part. So it's, you know, probably maybe an inch higher than the cut part and it's still cutting really well. I might be breaking the one third rule, but hey, it's still looking pretty good. Let's just get back into this mow. All right, that was just a single cut and uh, the sun's really not at a good angle to see if it puts any good stripes down, but overall it did a really good job at uh, cutting this lawn and doing a really good job with just a single cut. Again, it's probably cutting off, you know, maybe an inch of, inch of grass or so, and it did pretty well, did good mulching. I didn't notice any clumps. Again, it's in a review video, just kind of mentioning some things while I'm using it today. Um, but I always prefer a double cut no matter how good the lawnmower mows the lawn even with my Honda I, I typically try to do a double cut I know I said I may not be able to do that this year with a bigger lawn bigger family and all that kind of stuff But I'm gonna do a double cut I tell you what for being a light electric mower it still puts out some pretty good stripes. Again, the sun's not in the best position, but it still puts down some pretty good lines, some pretty good stripes. And uh, I could tell on the second cut, it really wasn't cutting a whole lot. You can tell with, with it being an electric mower, it's a lot quieter than a gas mower, obviously, but you can actually hear the blade cutting the grass with it being so quiet. And you can't hear much it cutting much of anything on that second cut compared to what it was like on the first cut. So to help give you guys an idea of how high the grass was over on the front section of the lawn, I wanted to come over to the side section and measure how high this was. This lawn was mowed at the same height and on the same day that part of the lawn previously was. So this should tell me how much it had to cut that mower cut off. So this is measuring between three and a half and three and three quarters. So let's go check the front part that I just cut. So over on the front section of the lawn that I just cut, we are sitting at between two and three quarters and three inches. So roughly an inch of grass was cut off, so not bad. So right now I just need to trim and clean it all up. So this is a straight shaft trimmer. I've never used one regularly. I've really only used a curved shaft, shaft trimmer since I've been mowing lawns as a kid and even owning my own house. So there's gonna be not only is it going to be a learning curve with a battery powered trimmer, it's just going to be a learning curve since it's a straight shaft trimmer. So let's get into cleaning up these edges.
There's those extra crispy edges for you, B. Davis. It's fun playing around with these electric uh, lawn equipment tools in the lawn today. Fun using them. I will be doing a more, a, actually more of a comprehensive review on these tools in the coming months. But I, like I said, I just want to kind of familiarize myself with them, use them, find the, you know, what works with them. Because I have never actually utilized all electric equipment before. I'm more accustomed to gas powered equipment. So it just takes some, you know, getting used to and some learning with all that. So I don't want to do a review on something that I don't fully understand at this moment and have a lot of experience with yet so please be sure to subscribe to my channel to get notifications uh, when those videos come out be sure to hit that bell for those notifications if you have any questions or comments please leave those in the comment section below as always though i'm ben the lawn guardian and i'll see you in the next video